and outside the play for four players. So Elian's going to be getting some open duels with the USP. That long range engagement. Flashbang goes over the top, not quite finding his mark, running out of bullets and running out of life as Jam Young strikes first. Yeah, a lot of overcommitment there, but you've got Mini down the vents as well. Davkost is spotting out from top heaven, and Ty Lu, they completely redirect things. They've got the rotations away, and now they've got the bomb site for free. Evan's yeah. going to plant for main. CT is coming through heaven. Heichi over the top. Really going to do too much. Two HP. Not worth the investment in my books. Now they're just waiting for the moment to strike, seeing if anyone overextends, but clock ticking. Gonna have to get this one under away shortly. Vitals looking for a fight, but Mercury underneath. Okay, Davkos does strike from above. Great swing. Oh my God. In a couple of seconds, Vital finds two and the round's done. Uh, and I'll be honest, you, you take a look at the feedback uh, and you take a look at the way that round sets up. And I was going to say, I'm actually really impressed with Ty Lu because it's always been the afterplants they've really been struggling with. And then all of a sudden, everyone overpeaks at once. You mentioned the utility usage, not quite proficient. And as a result, GG the timing. So for a little jiggle. Oh, the contact from the scout is perfect. Mini's able to swing. Elion with the tag and a follow-up kill. Kase did find one back, but the damage has been done. They're starting to bleed and Elion is continuing his reign of dominance with this scout. No chance to do anything with that collector Galil. And it's Ormond. The new kid, but an old face. 1v3 on his hands and Elion doesn't allow anything. The scout doing wonders for them. Oh, yeah. A of early utility onto A, but Davkos has slipped on through into a really powerful position. You can see why. Ormond just walked straight into his crosshair. That's an easy free kill. There's no support. He was just sent in solo to try and take the site. That was actually burned Davkos out, so I guess he gets a trade. When he finds Advent Kaze with a kill in Elian's AWP, gets to chime in. An advantage for GG Howe. The bomb has made its way down ramp, and Mercury managed to cross outside in the meantime. So they can group up, and Issa might be in for a bit of a nasty surprise. Yeah, he's got to wait here, Kaze. He's going to just keep dropping this utility, and Mercury has to be the player that backstabs first. But Issa gets the jump on the window. Mercury, sure, you're going to be maybe getting the jump on Issa, but now you have to grab the bomb. Now Vital and Elian know exactly where you are. This is a really difficult clutch. Not impossible, although Elian is quite forward on the angle. Mercury wants to try and fight his way up. He might be able to catch Elian here. He can sneak under the crosshair. No, Elian, wise to his tricks. Guess GG how they're fourth. I think... Well, Molotov's come through, but Vital's still got his to deploy if they do hit in. He's gonna come down, he can drop onto the site. They run through the flames and do find the kill. So finally, some space being found. Great HE, an alien spam almost finds the mark. Davkos will eventually get that kill even a second before he's mowed down by that Tech-9. So three versus three and all CTs are in heaven. That smoke's giving them space. Really cool smoke, actually. They're able to fight around it and Jam Young manages to get down. Ormond with the bomb. Yeah, not too bad. Our plots now can take shape, but again, it's really difficult to hold on to. Primary objective secured here for Tai Lu. If they can find any more damage, that will be a bonus, but Elian. Just taking these long-range gunfights with the sniper. It's a David versus Goliath situation, and now for Jam Young, a player that's so often called upon here in Tai Lu. This one seems inevitable for GG Hao, but a, a much better pacing of round here for this T side. And a bomb plant, uh, at the very least. So, oh, okay, hold up. Don't want it to get too costly. Oh, hold the second. Jam Young making something of this. The PG-50 collects into an orb. Oh, no. And now he's in a 1v1. The time's not there. He's actually managed to do it. There's no kid, no time. Unbelievable. A 1v3 to get Tai Lu there first. And that is all mistakes off of GG Howe. Uh, and what did you say, Jam Young? Managed to gain lobby control with Ormond. He's aware of something's going on and he gets the information. A lot of players have pushed lobby and he's penned in. He's so low HP, but the fact that he's staying alive is doing everything. Though Jam Young does fall to Davkost. That was elsewhere. Ormond, somehow still here. Not for long. Davkost finds another. Yeah, that, that's... Really interesting for, for Tai Lu again. It's just Jam Young really overextending. It feels very individual in nature. He wanted to bail Ormond out, wanted to make the most of the information. Tai Lu still made it down in towards secret here, but Izzy's already rotated. You've got double Rampling about to come forward. A five on three, this feels difficult. Great setup. Oh, and great spray from Mini. Makes quick work of them. Kaze, what can you do? And now you're effectively reset. No bomb plant. But Gigi Howe, five alive in a round in which a Famous was brought forward to the table. There was a P250. Sure, Yankov, you've already lost the map. It's a BO1. It's MR12. Yeah, and you chose to go here. 
Oh, okay. Jam Young gets the kill. Flashbang in towards me. Two players set up just to entry, and they're committing to this. The bomb is coming through. Vitalized. Too many angles he has to cover. Can't find the kill. And Tavkost again comes up the vent with a double kill. How has he allowed that space? And it's given an opportunity and one that Elian will happily take. Two versus two after those fantastic clean entries into A. Still good positioning for Tyler. Look at Mini. Still in the vent can come up at a moment's no notice. Way. They're not ready for it. It's a double backstab. I'm just lurking in the shadows of the vents. And now Kaze has to isolate these two angles. Knows that an orb's alive. Mini back turn, head spotted. And down the vent he goes to one versus one. And Elian's on a big rotate. That's great. Taking the time, finding the kill, knowing they can drop down the vent immediately. Knows he's up against the orb as well. And Elian hasn't started the rotate. Bomb gets planted and he's... Yeah, now the penny drops. I'm seeing a kit on him though. So Kaze has all the advantages here. Here's Elian coming on down. Elian tries to bait out the, the peek through ramp, but Kaze's position is strong and he wins it out. Another clutch for Tyler. Yeah, much better. Although it does... I think Elian's in the vent. Yeah, oh, he's down, downstairs. He's coming through though, straight onto A. And Davkos again, doing everything. A double kill is eventually taken down, as was Vital. And Elian can't make his way out the vent. Kaze's found Mini. And is about to meet his demise. Ullman walks through the smoke. Elian, you're out of there. No chance in this round. Yeah, a really great round there from Ty Lu. Yeah, I just had to wake up. It's an early morning. Elian's not spotting out anyone. He's actually going to get aggressive. Wasn't able to get involved in the last round. Wants to a bit more refine this time. Main drop over the top. That smoke giving a bit of space for Izza, but he can't get the reload off in time. Great scaling. Now Mini has to step in while Heaven is being wrapped. Yeah, this is now difficult. The, the adjustment that Gigi Howe been making to outside control is not to fight it. It's instead to send players down the vent early. And Tai Lu, they completely adjust. Flashbang in towards Heaven. Jam Young over the top. And surely Mini has to be aware of this. Has conveyed the information to Elian. But now he's being split from Advent as well. Caught looking the wrong way. Tai Lu, this feels pretty good. He was just left on an island and it did not feel good. So many angles he had to be aware of. And Elian, oh, nice peek from Mercury. Barely a chance to fire back. Tai Lu. A couple of times, but outside has always been open. So suddenly you can completely admit the, the, the fact that there could be players down secret starting down the vent. It doesn't matter if you go over the top. And that's exactly what happens. It blindsides the CT side. And now they're less scrambling because you're being split from both main but also heaven. There's too many angles to watch. And ultimately, it's these overcomplications that are really... Oh, that feels very rough indeed. Nice early utility on towards Jam Young. But again, it's just a, this conversation piece of no one's been outside. Jam Young, sure, he catches a nade. That's fine. I'm already down secret. We know you're going to push in towards lobby. It feels incredibly one dimensional here. He's moving in confidence as well, just charging on in. And he is punished for it. Mini swings. But again, it's this double ramp set up. The double scope almost. Costelli in that kill, but Mini is able to step up for two. Kaze gets one, spots Mini. Three versus three. It's certainly doable. Davkov's loud. Orman gets his kill every day. No! Caught slipping. Davkov's trying to bait in the peak with that drop, making noise like he's running to ramp, but no, he was ready for it. Now the advantage is for GG Howe, but they're not positionally in a great spot. Double ramp, Mercury. The mini ramp. Looking for a head is the swings on through and now it's all into Mercury. Low HP, but time in his favor. Just needs to find one more kill and maybe he can do it, but no. Davkos comes on through, so 7-5 will be the half. It's all the attention diverted. Jam Young at the back of the site. They're clearing, but not looking at everything. Jam Young finds one and the second as well. Really good adjustment there for Jam Young. He finds even a triple. Makes it so much more doable now for Tai Lu. What an overperformance from that position. Yeah. And now Izzy is isolated. He's relying on Ellie and finding something and in the vents. He might just catch it. Ormond walking through. No, Kaze on the flank. And now this is difficult for Izza. You've got 30 seconds left. Look, sure, you can reset, but you have no idea where any of these players are. Only confirmed info on one of them. You understand they probably are grouping together. It will be Kaze. It'll be the first step up to the plate. 20 seconds. Izzy needs to clear every single angle. 
it starts to get increasingly difficult. One headshot, but the trades are there. It's safety in numbers for Tai Lu, but Jam Young with the triple header. This is aggression. This is what we didn't see from GG Hal, and Kaze finds success of it. Going forward with your barricade. Okay, that's a little bit too far, Norman. Oh, you found your kill, guys. Um, jumping through the smoke. I feel like that was scroll wheel. I, I, I don't think he <laughs> deliberately meant to go that high up. Yeah, let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt. And Kaze, so many numbers there. How does he get away? Where's the swing? Okay, there it is. Davkos finds the kill. We're in a three on three. All this time is brutal. Advent's going to push through hut by no one home. Mercury falls. If they go vent, it's perfect. But if they commit to A, Advent, he can ruin everything. Although he's just going to keep pushing doors, so... What comes down to whether he can catch Elian on this angle? Not oh, clearing. he's not clearing it. Elian will take that one every day and jam young. Yeah, not much you can do that. That's brutal. That that really is. And look, we talk about CS2 and the nature of timings, but in essence, GG Hal made that one by going contact. Sure what that was all about. Maybe dropping utility, but instead they're gonna take a molly and now the AWP can't get involved. Oh, Davkos forced forward. But he'll take the fight anyway. Not ready for Kaze, but now you know where that AWP is. And now you're under pressure. Look, this instant main split. 5-7 MP9 has to hold on. Advent will trade out, but it still gets a little bit difficult. A dink for a drive-by means that, look, there's still a pathway here. Is a scaling up heaven is everything, because now he can lock off rotations. Yeah, that's exactly the play. The others are pausing in case that secret peek comes through. Izzah can walk on in, slowly clear the site. The pressure comes through. He's looking for where Advent's gone to. Spots ahead, gets the kill. Kaze in towards HUD can still do damage. Still the potential. But they're going to know that that's a possibility. Vital's in a strong spot in towards CT vent. Don't Oops, think he's... Spot Opening best of one, of course, you're, you're going to be feeling a little bit out of it. You know what is on the line. Qualification here. To the first major in CS2. And best of ones are always a difficult mistress to try and tame at the best of times, especially when you went down so early to GG Howe. Built your way back in, Tai Lu, and suddenly... Oh, was that GG Howe are playing this so passively that they literally have no, oh, no. space whatsoever. Oh, Vital, he ruins the fun. And Kaze can only find one well handled by GG Howe. Just by being that little bit more patient, they make the most of it. And the fact that they're so grouped together anyway, if that gets a little bit dicey, yet again, you've still got that trade space in. I really dislike the position of Kaze there with the yeah. AWP in towards CT vent. Not only is it a commonly Molotov position, like it like it just was, but there's nowhere to go after you miss that exactly. first shot, right? Yeah, you're so uh, stuck. If you've been able to you drop the smoke and then relocate uh, over towards behind Silo, bring that second player that was there to support Advent around to, to uh, door. There was time for it. It definitely feels like, even in rounds like that, obviously Kaze is trying to set himself up to get a multi-kill. But by putting himself in such a claustrophobic angle, that makes life incredibly difficult. And the fact and then they're just being a little bit more passive. They're waiting for Tyloo to make these mistakes. Good spam. Another molly. That's going to funnel Jam Young up, but he passes the test with flying colors. Immediate trade out of Izza. It's a four on four, and now they've got space down secret. I guess like Devcos was the one player you didn't want to be taking that fight with such a low HP. The two players cross, but the, the bomb isn't actually with them. The bomb is on mini, so they're going to have to come back up A. That's the only play they can make here. The vital's position, mini's going to be grouping up with him, and oh, oh man, the timing. Oh. Gets the info from that jump, though. A lot of information. And Advent, with the FAMAS, gets one. Trade it out. Three versus three. 20 seconds, though. Need to be finding the space onto the site. Mercury. Oh, he's going to swing at the 5-7. That's the bomb. That's the bomb lost, and the round likely with it. Elian with the AWP. Gonna be overwhelmed. A dink comes through. And even surviving here. Looks tenuous, and he is traded. Cool smoke, perfectly timed, but Allman is on the second layer up above. Oh, he's seeing the jiggle. The swing comes through from Davkost. Allman's trying to find the kills, and he's managed to get one. The burn from the flame takes down Vital. The CT defense is holding. They gave up the space, but it just meant the GT Hal walked straight into their setup. Leon's being tempted by the player behind Silo. Kaze's just aggressed on his own to find Izza. 
looking like a ninth alien. No one would envy his position. Can't cross to vent. Does look like the split on towards B is the plan here. Trying to bait out the shot. Is there looking for the headshot? Jam Young with the M4 out in the open. Mini is able to swing for the trade, but there's Kaze with the orb. Oh, but there's Elian with the deagle. And suddenly it becomes a three versus three. Is it with all of the control? They can plant the bomb. Look at Davkos. He's in the perfect position, but Mercury down the vent is able to trade him out at the very least. Bomb still not planted. So this is completely fine. Mercury, this is an important fight to win, and he does manage to do it. Is a now with the player disadvantage, time running low as well, feeling suffocated from all of these angles, double door swings, it's advent to close, and it's Tyloo with 10. Oh, I think he ran out of bullets in that fight onto Mercury. Molotov's being set up. Everyone gonna be getting in position, but again, this aggression could be their undoing. Mercury pushes through Hut. Then you've got Kaze and Jam Young. And all that time you're taking to set up for this hit onto A, it's just unraveled. See you though. Nice attempt with the flashbang, but the swing from Jam Young gets one, and again, it's Elian. Can't find one. 11 11. Tai Lu grinding their way back into this four rounds in a row. And that's what they need in this RMR if they want to do a deep run. And again, it's the same thing, Ranin. It's the lobby crunch, and again, Mercury peeks out Hut and finds the kill. Jam Young. Knows that the molly will come in, but actually f attempt to throw a counter one and does. It's not insanely helpful. Here comes that main split. Of course, has the bomb. Oh, and there's Jam Young with the swing. Great trade from Elian. That's a difficult shot to hit. Now they're looking for this outside fight, but Davkos drops the bomb, and he might have just dropped the round. Elian in a one versus four. Ty Lu with an incredible comeback on this CT side. They have locked GG How out. They're going to send them down to the lower bracket. Unless Eliana is able to pull this off, but it feels increasingly difficult. As you mentioned, bomb, no man's land, smoked off, no opportunity, knife out. Still alive for just a couple more seconds, but that is it. It is done. Tai Lu, 13-11, a real story of comeback. And it just goes to show, once they warm up into the game, they're good for it. Yeah, it took them a little...